Picture this, it's a warm, nostalgic evening, the kind that wraps you in a comforting embrace. You're sitting in front of a flickering television screen, the anticipation palpable in the air. And then, like a burst of vibrant energy, he appears, El Chapulin, Colorado. The year was 1973, and this quirky, red-clad superhero burst into the hearts of millions with his unconventional charm and hilarious mishaps. Can you still recall that wide-eyed wonder as you discovered the misadventures of this unlikely hero? Perhaps it was the bumbling yet endearing way he faced challenges that resonated with you, or the infectious catchphrases that still make you chuckle even today. And who could forget those iconic moments that etched themselves into your memory? The Chippo Chillin', the iconic no Contabin Con My Astucia, and the hilarious yet oddly inspiring battles against absurd villains. Each episode was a delightful cocktail of humor, satire, and a dash of life lessons. Now, as we journey back to those golden days, let's dive into some fascinating tidbits about the show that might have slipped under your radar. From the genius mind behind El Chapulin's creation to the unexpected influence it had on pop culture, prepare to be amazed by the hidden layers of this classic series. So, fasten your seatbelt and get ready to rediscover the world of El Chapulin, Colorado. It's time to unravel the captivating history and legacy that continues to put a smile on faces, no matter the era. Let's embark on this adventure of laughter, camaraderie, and nostalgia, because sometimes, even superheroes wear a heart on their sleeve. Overview, El Chapulin, Colorado is a Mexican television series that originally aired from 1973 to 1979. Created by Roberto Gomez Bolanos, also known as Chesperito, the show is a comedic parody of superheroes and action-adventure tropes. The title character, El Chapulin Colorado, portrayed by Chesperito himself, is a clumsy yet well-intentioned superhero who uses his quirky gadgets and unconventional methods to help those in need. The series is known for its light-hearted humor, slapstick comedy, and clever wordplay. In addition to El Chapulin Colorado, the show features iconic characters such as La Chilindrina, El Chimpiras, and Dr. Chapatin, all portrayed by Chesperito. These characters became beloved figures in Mexican pop culture, and their catchphrases and antics are still recognized by audiences today. Unique style, El Chapulin Colorado stands out for its blend of satire and physical comedy. The show takes a satirical approach to superhero narratives, often highlighting the humorous aspects of crime fighting and heroism. El Chapulin's endearing bumbling and well-meaning but flawed personality add depth to the comedic situations. The show also uses clever language play and puns, contributing to its wit and charm. Impact on popular culture, the series has left a lasting impact on Mexican and Latin American popular culture. Its memorable characters, catchphrases, and humorous scenarios have become cultural touchstones. El Chapulin Colorado's influence extends beyond the television screen permeating literature, art, and even politics. The character's symbolic portrayal of the everyday hero has resonated with audiences, making him an enduring figure in the region's entertainment history. Main content, random facts about El Chapulin, Colorado. The character's name translates to the Red Grasshopper, signifying his vibrant and distinctive appearance. Despite his comedic nature, El Chapulin, Colorado often imparts moral lessons, and values through his actions, contributing to the show's enduring appeal. The character's costume, featuring a red suit and yellow heart emblem, has become an iconic symbol associated with the show. El Chapulin Colorado occasionally featured crossovers with another popular Chesperito series, El Chavo Del Acho, creating a shared universe within the shows. Chesperito's ability to create relatable characters in absurd situations allowed the show to connect with audiences of all ages, contributing to its widespread popularity. The show's theme song, The Elephant Never Forgets, became a catchy and recognizable tune synonymous with El Chapulin's adventures. Over the years, El Chapulin, Colorado has been referenced in various forms of media, including films, TV shows, and music, highlighting its enduring cultural relevance. Chesperito's portrayal of El Chapulin, Colorado showcased his comedic genius and creativity, solidifying his status as a prominent figure in Mexican comedy. Mexican comedy. Mexican comedy. Bumblebee Man from The Simpsons was inspired by the iconic character Chapulin Colorado from the 1973 TV series of the same name. Known for his red and yellow costume, Chapulin Colorado, 
played by Roberto Gomez Bolanos, captivated audiences with his comedic antics and quirky catchphrases. The resemblance between Bumblebee Man and Chapulin Colorado is evident in their vibrant outfits and slapstick humor showcasing the cross-cultural influence that the Mexican series had on popular American animation. The impact of Chapulin Colorado's legacy continues to be felt across borders, as characters like Bumblebee Man pay homage to his enduring comedic spirit. In another intriguing parallel, the anime One Punch Man features a character named Smile Man who bears a striking resemblance to Chapulin Colorado. With a similar red and yellow superhero costume, Smile Man echoes the iconic look of the Mexican TV character. This unexpected homage further demonstrates the far-reaching cultural impact of Chapulin, Colorado, and its enduring influence on diverse forms of entertainment. The undeniable connection between Chapulin, Colorado, and these pop culture references underscores the character's lasting influence on global media. The laughter-inducing legacy of this 1973 TV series continues to reverberate through time, reminding us of the power of humor and universal themes that transcend borders and languages. Whether as the inspiration for beloved animated characters or a source of amusement for audiences worldwide, Chapulin Colorado's impact remains indelible, reminding us that laughter truly knows no boundaries. In a pivotal decision during the production of the 1973 TV series El Chapulin, Colorado, creator Roberto Gomez Bolanos faced a color conundrum. Initially toying with the idea of a black-suited hero, he eventually deemed the shade too somber for the show's comedic tone. Opting for vibrancy, Bolanos pivoted to the iconic red suit that became synonymous with the beloved character. Yet, it was not only Chapulin's attire that set this series apart. In a groundbreaking move, El Chapulin Colorado earned the distinction of becoming the first Mexican show to be sold to a foreign network. This marked a momentous leap for Mexican television onto the international stage, capturing the hearts of audiences well beyond its borders. Surprisingly, the legacy of El Chapulin Colorado transcended even cultural boundaries, making an unexpected cameo in the world of anime. Fans of the popular anime One Punch Man may recognize a character named Smile Man, who bears a striking resemblance to the Chapulin himself. This cross-cultural homage serves as a testament to the enduring appeal and influence of the iconic series. In the tapestry of television history, El Chapulin Colorado remains an indelible thread. From color choices that shaped the character's identity to its trailblazing journey onto international screens and unexpected cameos in far-off genres, the impact of this 1973 series continues to radiate across time and borders. El Chapulin, Colorado, the unsung inspiration behind Bumblebee Man of the Simpsons in the vibrant landscape of television history. The 1973 Mexican TV series El Chapulin, Colorado stands as a beacon of creativity and inspiration, casting a lasting influence on the world of animation. Unbeknownst to many, the iconic character Bumblebee Man from the long-running show The Simpsons owes its origins to none other than the titular hero of El Chapulin, Colorado. Created by Roberto Gomez Bolanos, also known as Chesperito, the bumbling yet endearing superhero captivated audiences with his quirky antics and distinctive red and yellow costume. Chesperito's genius extended beyond the screen, as evidence suggests that the creation of Bumblebee Man was directly inspired by El Chapulin, Colorado. The parallels between the two characters are striking, both exude a mix of slapstick humor and cultural commentary, and both sport flamboyant costumes that underscore their comedic personas. The legacy of El Chapulin, Colorado reaches far beyond its original airings, embedding itself in popular culture in unexpected ways. While El Chapulin, Colorado seamlessly integrated a multitude of pop culture references, it intriguingly sidestepped the inclusion of famous superheroes, save for one, Chapulin himself. In stark contrast, his counterpart El Chavo Del Acho, another creation of Chesperito, exclusively alludes to this singular superhero. This curious narrative choice added a layer of mystique to the El Chapulin Colorado universe, deepening the connection between its characters and their shared reality. Moreover, the captivating universe of El Chapulin Colorado shares its space with the beloved series El Chavo Del Acho. This intersection of storylines and characters provides a rich tapestry for fans to explore, uniting these iconic shows into a single imaginative realm. 
It's a testament to Chesparito's storytelling prowess that he could craft such a cohesive world, captivating audiences of all ages. As the years have marched on, the legacy of El Chapul in Colorado endures. Its influence on animation, humor, and character development remains steadfast, with the DNA of its creativity evident in modern classics like The Simpsons. The adventures of this unlikely superhero continue to remind us that even in the realm of comedy, innovation and inspiration know no bounds. In the annals of television history, El Chapulín Colorado stands tall as a trailblazing force that paved the way for future generations of creators. Its impact on the world of entertainment remains indelible, ensuring that the legacy of the red and yellow clad hero will be cherished for years to come. As we bid adieu to the vibrant world of El Chapul in Colorado, it's not just a show that fades away into the archives of television history, but rather a timeless tapestry woven with laughter, wit, and a touch of unassuming heroism. Each episode brought forth a symphony of chuckles and a kaleidoscope of emotions, leaving an indelible mark on our hearts. Take a moment to journey back through the corridors of your memory, where the yellow and red-clad superhero stood tall, armed not just with his iconic hammer, but with the power to ignite a contagious spirit of mirth. Recall the times you found yourself in stitches, caught in that delightful whirlwind of slapstick humor that transcends generations. The quirks of Chapulin's persona weren't just amusing, they were endearing, a mirror to our own imperfections and fears, painted with hues of courage and the ability to face challenges head on. As the curtain falls on this cherished series, I invite you to share the fragments of nostalgia that this iconic show has etched into your soul. Perhaps it's the way Chapulins. No contabin con my astucia. There came a rallying cry for unexpected triumphs in your own life. Or maybe it's the contagious laughter shared with loved ones as you gathered around the screen. Every memory, every sentiment is a testament to the enduring magic of El Chapulin, Colorado. So, dear friend, let the tales flow and the anecdotes dance, for this is not merely a farewell, but a call to celebrate the laughter and camaraderie that connected us through the antics of this lovable red-hooded hero. Thank you for joining in this reflection, for your time, and for being a part of the legacy that El Chapulin, Colorado has become. With a heart full of memories and gratitude,